I've made giant spiders attack Miss T. I've made giant gorillas attack Miss T. But you know what I haven't made attack Miss T? A giant snake until today. I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to Mobile Monday as you can see it's scary teacher 3d everybody's favorite sister of hello neighbor Miss T and we got ourselves a new update with new levels of course we got snake it up and a shocking experience I think we're gonna start with snake it up Miss T she's pulling some sweet I don't know like billiards moves pool I'm not very good at pool so Miss T thinks she's a snooker champion huh she'll be in hysterical Eric's after this prank. Yeah, okay. They're, they're laying it on pretty thick. I, I have a feeling that something with a snake is going to happen. Let's play. Okay, Miss T playing pool or snooker. What is what is the difference between billiards and snooker? I think they're just like different versions of a game that you can play on a pool table. I don't actually know. I don't, uh, what is she doing? She's a cheater. She's cheating. I ought to enter the Olympics. Is there a pool in the Olympics? Snooker is not in the Olympics, but it is governed by the World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association, but it's not an Olympic sport. So I don't know what Miss T is hoping for. It's not gonna happen, at least not right now. Find a way to ruin Miss T's pool game. Okay, where's the snake? <laughs> Seriously though, like we have nothing to go off of here. So you know the general rule of thumb? We run around the house and we look for things that are out of place like this. There's a basket. Is there a snake in this basket? Snakes kind of freak me out, honestly. Um, they're cool and everything, but you know, I, I prefer to keep my distance from snakes. Okay, so I have some kind of basket. I imagine that we'll want to put a snake in this. Maybe, maybe like lure it in by putting in some Food? I don't know. Maybe there is no snake, but that would feel kind of like a betrayal because the name of the level is snaking it up or something like that. You know, like shaking it up. And then and then the, the text at the beginning saying it's going to be hysterical. There's got to be a snake. I just I don't know where or why. But oftentimes we shouldn't ask why something is happening in Miss T's house. It's a very strange place. It's like we've entered an alternate dimension when we go inside of Miss T's house and we just accept that there's a lot of weird stuff going on here, including Miss T herself. She's a very strange lady. She is also upstairs, which frightens me. You know what? We should go into the basement. If I was a weird old lady who lived in a giant house, I would probably keep a snake in the basement. Oh, look at her. Just, yep. All right. Such a humble lady. Very humble. Okay. What what are we doing in here? Do you think these doors open yet? They do not. Okay. Let's open some cabinets. Nothing there. I don't know why this cabinet is kind of glowing green. It's a little weird. Can I open this cabinet? Yes, I can. Nothing there. Okay. I'm going to grab these stars along the way because I will probably need some hints and I don't have a billion stars. Also, can we talk about something very, very exciting? I know it seems kind of lame, but they finally added a sensitivity thing where you can change the turning sensitivity. That was one of my biggest complaints with the game. And I actually told the developers, I would love if you guys could, could add, you know, this little sensitivity thing. They listened and they did it. And that's very awesome. Big shout out to them. And now it's so much easier to turn. It used to, I used to have to sit here and like this, this just, drag my finger across like 20 times. Now, now I can turn with one nice and easy swipe. It's a beautiful situation. Very happy about that. What I'm less happy about, oh, there's a snake. I see it slithering in the yard. Okay, yeah, that's, that's cool and all, but I'm a little, a little scared. Oh, it's making, it's making hissy noises that don't actually sound like a snake. Do snakes make that noise? It sounds like a lawnmower or like a, like a lawn edger. You know, the little things that have like the, the spinny wacky thing. Weed whacker? Is that what it's called? Yeah, weed whacker. Sounds like a weed whacker. Okay. Um, hello, Mr. Snake. We need to give him a name. Edward. Edward the Snake. It's a very dignified name that I like a lot. All right, Edward. And for the record, it's not Ed. It's not Eddie. It's Edward. Um, you gonna cooperate, Edward? Or, oh, 
place the basket next to the snake. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Find something to calm the snake. Interesting. So we're on the right track, but how do you calm a snake? I mean, I guess you give it something to eat. I feel kind of bad just giving it a live mouse or something. What would calm a snake? Let's check the kitchen. Definitely not hot sauce. Probably not fire. Uh, may maybe? <laughs> <laughs> cake? Everybody loves cake. Probably not. I don't think cake is the play here. Let's explore some more rooms. See if we can find anything that seems like a, a good snake calmer. Not cakes. Oh, what if like we find like a, you know, like a flute? You know, like the, the snake tamers they use? The little flute thing? What if, what if that's the play? Yo, that could be interesting. I also don't know where the actual pool table is. Like, I haven't actually found the pool table. Oh, you know what? It's probably in that game room on the other side of the living room. But unfortunately, Miss T is in the living room. Oh, she's going upstairs. That's perfect. As soon as she gets upstairs, I'm going to make a break for that room over here. I think, I think it's over here. No, this is just a very large dining room. This room. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, a snake taming staff of some sort. Can I pick it up? I can't. Why can't I? I mean, this seems very obviously the thing that I need, but I can't pick it up. Why is this lady got a snake taming staff in her pool room? Also, I mean, it seems like it's a pool cue. Very weird. Um, why can't I pick it up though? I just, I just want to pick up the, s the snake staff. No, you're not going to let me pick it up. Okay. Th there must be more to this, I guess. But Whoa, what? What am I supposed to on? do here? There's a competition going on, but you're not in it, you weird lady. She's just watching it on TV and she says she's going to win. Maybe there's another item or something that I'm, that I'm missing. I don't, I don't think so. But then maybe you need like a, a pool stick to replace the staff so she doesn't know. Notice? I think I'm gonna need a hint. And hopefully I've collected enough stars to at least get one hint. Let's see. Reveal hint. You can use a flute. <laughs> I called it. Okay. So we're not gonna use the weird snake staff. We're gonna use a flute, but I need to find the flute. It's gotta be upstairs somewhere. We've pretty much explored all of the downstairs. So there's gotta be a flute somewhere in this lady's house. Maybe actually, I ran through the band room, the music room. Maybe there's a flute in there. Any flutes in here? We've been in here. No flutes. Okay. Band room. Flute. <gasps> Let's go. Okay. Play the flute near the snake. I can totally do that. Bust out my flute playing skills. I think I understand now. So maybe what we're doing is we're replacing the pool stick that happens to have a snake head on it with an actual snake so that like she goes to you know, play pool and then she's actually grabbing and then the snake eats her whole. Okay, the snake eating her whole part might be a little ambitious, but that would be pretty sweet. Let's play some flute just for you, bud. Dude, that is a terrifying looking snake. It looks like a, like some kind of alien sand monster. Find something to freeze the snake stiff. Is the snake gonna be okay if I do that to it? What am I supposed to do now? Put it in the freezer? Freeze the snake stiff. That is very strange. I'm gonna try putting it in the, the freezer slash refrigerator. I can't open the freezer and I can't put anything in the refrigerator. Okay, so that's not gonna work. This is weird. Oh no, 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 no. She snuck up. Escape. I've escaped for the price of watching one ad. Very, very fair. Now, what do I do though? How do I freeze a snake? I don't even know where to begin. Like, do we need like liquid nitrogen? We dip the snake in liquid nitrogen? That seems really messed up and very bad for the snake's health. Still collecting stars along the way. Is there anything in the shed that could freeze a snake? No, no, there is not. There are still a few more rooms I think that we could explore up here, but for for the most part, I think we've been in every single room. Snake freezing gel, maybe you could use glue? That doesn't seem right, no. We need to put the snake into something, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what is this? Hairspray! You load enough hairspray on that dude. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, yes. <laughs> It's very messed up. I feel bad for the snake, you know, being that he's an alien sandworm snake. Maybe he can handle the amount of hairspray that we've put on him. We've just turned the, the snake into a stick. We've literally turned this snake into a stick. Okay, um, 
<laughs> this is so ridiculous. I kind of love it, though. Uh, uh, have we done it? Is she not going to notice? This would truly be a beautiful situation if I pulled this off. I only needed one hint. And I kind of already figured out the flute thing. I just I just needed to find the flute. Oh, I hope this just, this just works. Miss T about to get eaten by a giant snake. I love it. It's a dream come true. It's a weird thing to say. She's really taking her time, I gotta say. She appears to be stuck, and I am mad. What is going on? Why, though, Miss T? Um, can you not do that? Can, can you just not be stuck? Where is she? I need to find her. Maybe I can lure her out of this strange trap that she's found herself in? I'm very upset, though. Miss T, which room are you in? I'm a little nervous about this. Is she in here? Nope, not in there. Okay. I'm pretty sure she's downstairs. I just don't know where. Come on, lady. Why you gotta do this? There, there. Okay, okay. We freed her. Okay, yes. Saved? Saved? I think we're saved. Okay, please just go play pool with your cool snake pool stick. It's very, very strange that she has a, a pool stick that has a snake head on one end of it. But I guess, you know, that's what makes this whole prank work. So thanks for being a weirdo, Miss T. Appreciate that. Now get ready for Olympic pool tabling. Because, you know, that's definitely a thing. Oh, it's happening. She's using it. Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, it, it, it like it bit her head. It bit her head. That was incredible. Well, I gotta say, I'm very pleased with that successful snake attack. I feel a little bit bad for the snake, but what gives me a little bit of comfort is the fact that that snake looks like some kind of crazy looking alien. I think they can handle the hairspray if they can survive in outer space. But do not hairspray snakes. It's really messed up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.